You're looking at Pine Creek area in Red Rock Canyon in Nevada. And right in the center here is Mescalito Pyramid or Peak. Above is the area that we stood on last week in the Rainbow Mountains mid upper crest ridge adventure if you look at the um, ridge that you see above and to the left of mescalito peak and then looking over in this direction is juniper peak and here's rainbow peak and that cliff just to the right between Juniper Peak and Rainbow Peak is called Rainbow Wall. Sheer cliff. Just, just amazing. And then over here, you're looking at Mount Wilson. And then we look over in this direction. And we're looking at Bridge Mountain. different perspective from below and then over this direction you can see the tip of white rock mountain and then moving over a little bit to the right you're looking at the keystone thrust cliffs and there's El Padre Mountain on, uh, let's see, yeah, El Padre Mountain on the right, La Madre Mountain on the left, and then over this direction, here's El Bastardo, and then, yeah, through the creosote bush here is Turtlehead Peak. And then speaking of bushes, um, yeah, there's there are a lot of different <laughs> types of plants that I do not recognize. And if you're a botanist, you'll recognize all of them. I'm a trail runner, not a botanist. Anyway, um, look at these cacti. This western edge of Red Rock Canyon uh, is much there, there's a lot more vegetation here and going back to pine creek canyon and mescalito pyramid there if you look down pine creek canyon you can see why it was named pine creek canyon there's a grove of pine trees that follows the line of the creek. So there you have it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to head up Pine Creek Canyon, see how far we can get. I'd love to be able to get up to the upper ridge to the left and above Mescalito Pyramid, but um, it looks like there could be a lot of cliffs in the way. So we'll just go and explore. I'm going to take the right branch of Pine Creek Canyon. There are two branches uh, split by Mescalito Pyramid in the center. I'm going to take the right branch today and just explore around the canyon. So here we go. There's a trail system down in the canyon here. And I am on a trail. I actually came down this hill uh, right over the hill is the parking area for pine creek canyon i came down this hill and i found myself on a trail and if we look the other direction yes that trail continues this may be middle oak creek trail i'm not sure but anyway it there is a trail that skirts the base of these mountains above us and 
I'll explore that at some point. But at this point, we're just going to focus on Pine Creek Canyon straight ahead. Here's a trail division. Straight ahead is Pine Creek Canyon. And to the left is the Fire Ecology Trail. So continuing up to, toward Pine Creek Canyon. Continuing on this very nice trail, Pine Creek Trail. And if you took the Fire Ecology Trail, you'd actually go down to this band of pine trees at the base of the canyon. And this is where you'll find Pine Creek. And there's actually a really nice picnic area down here also. But we are headed up Pine Creek Canyon. As I mentioned, there's a whole trail system down here. This is the Pine Creek Canyon Trail. And there you see Mescalito Pyramid. In fact, I just um, was passed by a couple climbers who are climbing the pyramid today. I uh, can't imagine what it would be like to do that. Um, anyway, I'm, I mentioned that there's a series of trails down in this area. And here is Dale's Trail, um, splitting off to the right. And this trail will take you all the way to Icebox Canyon, which is up Red Rock Canyon a bit, maybe a mile or two. And again, wow, look at this. This is really lush uh, vegetation in this area compared to what you see on the eastern side of Red Rock. And there's that pine grove down at the base of Pine Creek Canyon. You can see how it continues to follow the creek upward. So let's continue on. Okay, now we are descending into the pine grove here. See how the vegetation dramatically changes as we descend into Pine Creek Canyon and then we'll be ascending when you approach the high places from down below here, there's a lot more vertical climbing to do than what I was doing earlier, descending from the upper crest ridge line, which is again to the left of Mescalito Pyramid. And there's also a lot more brush to contend with down here in the lower areas. So it's a trade-off. If you're going to descend to the high points from above, the trade-off is that you have a lot of miles, a lot more distance to cover. If you're going to ascend, these are the Rainbow Mountains. If you're going to ascend the Rainbow Mountains from below, then you're dealing with vertical areas and a lot of brush, which you'll be seeing in just a bit. A lot of beautiful photo opportunities here in this area. Looking down into Pine Creek Canyon, the trail splits off a little bit to the right above the canyon. And as you can see, there is a definite choice up ahead. You can go left, and that actually looks like, from this point, a better potential approach to the summit of the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. But we're going to the right today. I've never gone to the right. And we're going to see what things look like around this corner again. Here is Bridge Mountain. No, no, 
Okay, it looks like the main choice here is to take the Pine Creek Loop Trail, which is about 0 0.80 miles. So it's not a really long trail. By the way, there's Juniper Peak and to the left, Rainbow Mountain. And here's a sign for the Knoll Trail, 1.80 miles. So yeah, we're gonna look at possibilities here. Probably the reason that these trails are so short is that we're gonna reach some vertical areas at the far extent of these trails, but We'll find out. And by the way, it should be a, a bit of a warning that everyone that, that I'm seeing on this trail has climbing helmets and ropes. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, there's, this is a very popular rock climbing area. There's the place I stood on just last week on that high ridge. Looks like there could be a canyon approach. We shall see. Bridge Mountain. Mescalito Pyramid potential approach route to the summit of the Upper Crest Ridge Line. Juniper Peak. Here's a closer look at the division between the two branches of Pine Creek Canyon. It's a right branch, Mescalita Pyramid in the center, left branch. I can already hear climbers up on the rocks above. We'll see if we can get some shots of them. Probably not right now, but before the end of the day. Bridge Mountain. Now the sound, the sun permits us looking down the length of Pine Creek Canyon. And there to the, a little bit to the right, is Blue Diamond Mountain. And then you can see the tip of Frenchman Mountain. See what looks like a camel hump in the faint distance. Okay, as I mentioned, I get some shots of climbers here. If you look carefully, just above that 
boulder a little bit to the left. There's a the climber. You can see the rope stretching upward. And they're climbing this wall up Bridge Mountain. Wow. And this is where the Pine Creek loop trail begins to loop around before you reach the base of Mescalito Pyramid. As I mentioned, you're dealing with brush and vertical walls uh, down trying to ascend from below to the upper area of the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. And when I speak about brush. I'm not talking about weaving around plants. I'm talking about a solid wall of brush. So let's leave the loop here and just see if we can navigate beyond and get through this brush to the base of Mescalito Pyramid. And there's our rock climber continuing to ascend. Got a ways to go. And if you wonder how he got the rope up there, take a look at this. There's the other climber. And then more up above. Wow. Lead climber, free climbing, placing the rope. Um, you can see one artist in posture right now. Okay, now the trail seems to be helping us through the brush here. But wow, some of this area is like going through a tunnel. Definitely beyond the loop trail. And I think these trails that extend beyond the loop trail are pretty much to get rock climbers to a place where they can scale the walls around us. And it's looking like this right branch <laughs> has a limited life span. Well, so far I've gotten up to this point without exceeding class three climbing little rock scrambling. The key is to stay out of the base of the canyon. You get into the base of the canyon and it's just a wall of brush down there. I hear climbers ahead and I know there was there were some climbers that were preparing to ascend Mescalito Pyramid. We'll see if we can see them in a little bit. But for now, continuing ahead, and this non-rock climber may be in a limited time span here before we reach a vertical cliff, but let's see how far we can get. Uh, a lot of winding around, some scrambling over boulders, but still not too horribly bad, and the trail continues on. So let's see if we can get around 
Mescalito Pyramid? That's a big question, but hey, maybe, maybe we can do that. I'd like to head around the back side and see what things look like back there. A lot of choices like this, where you could go up and keep hugging the upper edge of this canyon or head down. So far I've chosen the upward path without getting too far up toward Bridge Mountain. And that seems to be working for me. I hear a number of those climbers getting bogged down in the brush below. I don't know. This looks like a, a tough choice because up ahead, I'm thinking that this upper path is going to give out. We'll see very soon. And there you can see the canyon ahead. And my limited lifespan here as a non-rock climber is right there. Unless there's some pathway that I cannot see from here. Maybe around the right or the left corner. Mescalito Pyramid. Wow, look at this. There's Rainbow Mountain right in the center. And here's Juniper Peak. And here's the canyon below. We'll continue to explore until the rocks or the brush stop us here. Well, that upper trail that split off to the right looks like, keeps looking like it's going to end every time I get to a corner, but then it continues. So it looks like it so far it was a good choice, at least for the next 20 feet. We will see. By the way, if you're a rock climber looking for an approach to Mescalito Pyramid, you might try sticking to this loop above the canyon and avoid all that brush down there. However, what do I know? But it looks very thick. I hear voices down in the brush but so far I haven't seen anyone. And I imagine they're looking for some crack to ascend. This might be a likely pathway. Yeah, we'll see where they actually... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we are. Right in the center. So we'll take a closer look at that crack when we get closer. Okay, here's another climber 
places I would never want to be. Now, let's see if I can nail his position. Saw him just a moment ago. Going up that crack there. There we go. Oh my gosh. Nope, not for me. Continuing to loop above the canyon. Below us is Pine Creek. And there's some of the pines, very beautiful. Sun beginning to rise over Juniper Peak. Mescalito Pyramid. And as I said, we get just the next 20 feet at a time of this trail. But so far, so good. Nothing beyond class three rock scrambling in just a few places. Most is pretty much like this. Watch out if you're on the boulders. There's a very light dust which is, can be very slippery. And if it's wet, forget it. Yeah, it looks like if you're going to be climbing Mescalito Pyramid, this is where your trail descends to the base of the pyramid. And down there is where you start ascending. Let's take a closer look here. And that's the crack they're sending. And here's the way ahead. I don't know that I can continue through this brush. I'll see if I can wind my way around. I thought I saw something that looked like it was continuing right at the base of the Bridge Mountain rocks here. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say I've reached a dead end in the little trails that are up in this area are more for climber approach trails to find a 
jumping off point. for scaling the rocks. Totally a wall of brush all around me as far as moving ahead. So this is pretty much the extent of the non-climbers right branch of Pine Creek Canyon, and even the rock climbers probably don't go beyond this other than up, <laughs> which is the only way to go at this point. Let's take a look at a few of them one more time. And then the lead climber up above is ascending without the use of a rope. He's placing rope as he ascends. Let's see if we can catch him. There we go. Maybe there are permanent hooks up there. I don't know. A lot of climbers are against placing permanent hooks in the rocks. So what I'm going to do now is descend, see if I can find this little trail that got me up to this point and head around to where that loop trail first curved and I left the, the Pine Creek loop trail. I'll take the other loop and see if I can get into the other branch, the left branch of the canyon. The, um, it would be the south branch. This is the north branch.
back on the loop trail. Now let's see what this side of the loop looks like. Okay, continuing along through the wash at this point. Okay, here the loop takes a sharp left, which means that this is probably the terminus of of the loop at least in this direction so the question is how far can we continue up the south side of Mescalito pyramid okay here's our great reference point Mescalito pyramid we're continuing now see how far we can get around the south side of the pyramid and what I see here is this little trail is continuing so that's looking good and there are all kinds of options and it looks like you know some of the options include heading up toward Juniper Peak there's Juniper Peak And again, Mescalito Pyramid. And now you're looking at Bridge Mountain. And yes, climbers on all of these sheer cliffs around us. So for now, let's go ahead and see how far we can continue up this south side of Mescalita Pyramid. The left side. Okay, we have descended to Pine Creek. The question is, can we find a way through this area without getting our feet wet? <laughs> and the reason I don't want to get my feet wet is because as soon as I get my feet wet, I'm going to be standing on slick rocks and wet feet plus slick rocks is not a good combination. Well, I can see the place I stood at the top of the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. It's on the Las Vegas Area Trails.com page on the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line mid section. But wow, how to get there? You got a creek in a brush soak, I mean, a, yeah, a brush choked canyon below us. It's possible you might want to have wader shoes on. And then your other option is to keep ascending here, but wow, I'm not sure that this actually would should we keep ascending is going to then show a way to descend. And even if you could descend into this brush choked canyon, if you could continue on through and you can see the, the high points up ahead, uh, it's either vertical or it's choked with brush.
So I'm not seeing it right now. Maybe a few more tries and I might find a way. I think that, yeah, the least brush choked is to be walking in the water below. And I'm just not sure how that would work. And then here is looking around. There's Miskalito Pyramid, Bridge Mountain, and down the canyon. Colorful trees. This is the uh, third weekend in November. So that's when the colors start appearing. And here's a shot of the south side of Damsel Peak. Okay, I found a way up higher, which gives a good perspective of the canyon below. And then off into the distance, you can now see the Calico Hills. Damsel Peak. And no promises, but it looks as if there's, there's um, Juniper Peak, by the way. And you see that canyon up ahead. It looks as if this faint trail could be a way up into that canyon. Very interesting. We'll go a little further just to see what things look like, how far we can get. It's getting pretty rugged at this point. Well, there may be a way through all this brush and up the crack ahead, but I'm not seeing it. It looks like this is a very, very old, faint passageway through this brush. And maybe one could ascend that little canyon up there. But no promises, there's quite a drop off below. A lot of brush hiding the uh, dramatic drop offs at the edge of these rocks. So at this point, I am going to turn around Mescalito Pyramid. Wow, how beautiful. And there's actually a cairn on top of this boulder right in front of me, meaning that somebody had said, hey, this is a way to go. So who knows? Maybe it would be possible to continue on. I just passed through this area. And you can see sort of a trail. So I'm going to make my way back at this point and... Maybe return at a future date. But for now, I'm thinking that perhaps the best way or the next way that I'll try to get up to the upper crest ridge line up there will be the other side of Rainbow Mountain. And here you have Rainbow Mountain over here. And then Junior, Juniper Peak to the left and that crack or slot in the middle that I was showing you a moment ago. So uh, it's just too much brush down here. I'm not thinking this is a way that's going to lead up through the canyon to the ridge line.
So next, next time we'll try the other side, the south side of Rainbow Mountain, see if there's a, a route up in that area. Well, it looks like we're back on the loop. I don't know where exactly we are on the loop. I am going to assume that it either goes this way or around this way, which I think is more likely based on the rocks that I see down here. So let's go ahead and let's continue on the loop in this direction, see where we end up. Okay, good choice, that settles it. Now we just head around the loop till we're back. It's a challenge coming onto the loop from the center somewhere and not knowing what exactly the loop is, but we made it. Okay, continuing around the loop. This time the band of pine trees is to our north. There's Mescalito Pyramid. And it only remains to be seen. This is a well-marked loop, by the way you ever want to just do the loop. It remains to be seen where we're going to come out and meet up with where we started the loop in the other direction. We'll find out soon. Okay, descending into the creek bed. This is a great little loop. To give a recap of what we've done today, we went up Pine Creek Canyon, took the north side first, the right side of Mescalito Pyramid, went as far as we could go till we got stopped by uh, vertical rocks and brush. Then we circled around and went up the south side of the canyon as far as we could go till we got stopped by vertical rocks and brush. So um, I'm thinking that we've pretty much given Pine Creek Canyon a, a good going over here. And so, um, like I said, the next place we're going to explore is the other side of Juniper Peak and see, and the other side of Rainbow Mountain. See if we can arrive at a canyon that will take us up to the upper end of the Upper Crest Ridge. I know that on the north side of Mount Wilson, there is a way up to that ridge. But let's see if we can find one that's earlier. Okay, continuing on. Looking back on Mescalito Pyramid in better lighting than this morning. Very beautiful formation. And then to just pan around here yeah, this isn't as good lighting as this morning for the Juniper Peak and Rainbow Mountain, but this is excellent lighting for Bridge Mountain. And then circling around, looking down Pine Creek Canyon. This is the trail, the main trail, the parking area up ahead there. Calico Hills in the background. 